I found out that my girlfriend had cheated on her previous boyfriend, and what made things even more complicated was that she was still friends with the guy she cheated with. After I learned this, I made the decision to break up with her, even though she kept telling me it was all in the past and that she had grown from that experience. The problem, though, is that I couldn't bring myself to trust her after that revelation. I'm 26, and my now ex-girlfriend is 25. We had been together for about a year, and up until this point, I thought things were going well between us. A few weeks ago, we were hanging out with some of her friends. Byron, the guy she cheated with, wasn't there, but there was still this awkward moment during the night that ended up changing everything. We were playing a quiz game with her friends, and one of the questions that came up was about cheating. The topic didn't bother me personally, so I casually mentioned that I hate cheaters. That's when I noticed one of her friends giving her a knowing look, and at the same time, my girlfriend looked visibly uncomfortable. She shifted in her seat and tried to laugh it off, but the whole thing just felt off. That small exchange made me suspicious, and I couldn't stop thinking about it for the rest of the night. The next day, I decided to ask her about it. I didn't want to accuse her of anything, but I had to know if there was something she was hiding from me. That's when she came clean. She admitted that she had cheated on her last boyfriend, which was a huge shock to me. I felt hurt that she had never mentioned it before, especially since we had been together for almost a year by this point. When I pressed her for details, she explained that it had happened when she was drunk one night, and the guy she cheated with was none other than her friend Byron. Now, Byron wasn't a stranger to me. I knew he was a former friends with benefits, FWB of hers, and while that wasn't easy for me to deal with, I had accepted that they were still friends. But learning that he was a guy she had cheated with brought everything into a different light. She had told me before that her relationship with Byron was purely platonic now. But suddenly, I couldn't help but question all of it. I was upset, not only because she had cheated in the past, but also because she was still regularly hanging out with the guy she cheated with. I told her I needed some time to think about everything. I didn't want to make any rash decisions, but I felt deeply conflicted. After a couple of days, I realized that I just couldn't move past the fact that she was still friends with Byron. It wasn't that I wanted to control who she could or couldn't be friends with, but I knew that it was going to bother me as long as they stayed in each other's lives. Rather than put myself through that constant stress, I decided the healthiest thing for me to do was to end the relationship. Breaking up with her wasn't easy, especially since I knew how much she cared about me. But I couldn't shake the feeling that staying with her while she remained close to Byron was going to make me miserable. I didn't want to be the person who asked her to cut someone out of her life, but at the same time, I couldn't ignore the red flags. After I broke up with her, I started to doubt my decision. Some people were telling me that I was overreacting because her cheating had happened before we even met. They said it was unfair of me to expect her to share every mistake from her past, especially if it wasn't directly affecting our relationship. But for me, it wasn't just about her past actions. It was the fact that the guy she cheated with was still a big part of her life. It felt like she hadn't fully moved on from that, and it was affecting my ability to trust her. About a week after we broke up, she came by my place, hoping to talk things through. She said that it was silly for us to break up over something that had happened so long ago and that she had grown since then. She tried to convince me that her past actions weren't reflective of who she was now. But I told her that my issue wasn't just about her cheating in the past. It was about her ongoing friendship with Byron. I explained that her relationship with him made me uncomfortable, especially since they had been FWB before and after her last relationship. It felt like there were still unresolved feelings between them, and I wasn't willing to take the risk of being hurt. She seemed desperate to make things work, and even offered to cut off her friendship with Byron, if that's what it would take for us to get back together. I'll admit... I was tempted. Our relationship had been great in many ways, and I did miss her. But then I remembered something that kept nagging at me. Before I could even consider giving her another chance, I needed to know the truth. I looked her in the eyes and asked her, Have you been hooking up with Byron since we broke up? Her reaction said it all. She hesitated, her face giving away her uncertainty. And then she finally said, No, but the way she said it was far from convincing. 
I could tell she wasn't being entirely honest, so I pressed her further. She then backpedaled and said, I mean, we were broken up. That was the moment I knew I couldn't trust her. I put my hands up and told her that I was done. I asked her to leave, and she was visibly upset. But I knew I had made the right decision for myself. It's been about eight and a half months since all of this happened. I recently ran into her at a party, and we ended up having a conversation. We kept things civil, exchanging pleasantries, but we never brought up Byron. It seemed like an unspoken agreement not to touch that subject. She was at the party with someone new, and I could feel her tension. She was visibly uncomfortable with the idea of me meeting her new guy, like she was guarding something, as if afraid of what I might say or reveal. There was this awkwardness, this energy between us that made it clear she didn't want me interacting with him. But eventually, I managed to find a moment when he was alone. I knew what I had to do, so I approached him and told him about Byron, what had happened, how things had gone down. His reaction surprised me. It was so... tame. He just raised an eyebrow and said something like, Oh, really? Well, thanks for letting me know... It was as if I had told him something trivial, not something that could blow up his relationship. After that, I left it alone. I didn't stick around to see what happened between them, because honestly, it wasn't my business anymore. I had wasted enough time dealing with my ex, and I figured if I could save this guy some trouble, I might as well. Whether he takes that information seriously or brushes it off, that's up to him. My part was done. But here's the thing. I didn't really understand what I was feeling until I got home. That's when it hit me how good it felt not to have to think about her anymore. There was this incredible sense of relief, almost like a weight had been lifted that I didn't even realize I was carrying. Even before I found out about the cheating, I never felt completely comfortable when she'd go out drinking with Byron. Something always felt off, like this gnawing discomfort in the back of my mind. I'd try to reason with myself telling myself I could trust her, but deep down I knew. I knew something wasn't right, but I pushed it aside for too long. Now, I feel amazing, like truly free. Not just because she's gone, but because I'm not tied down by that anxiety anymore. Looking back, I should have left her sooner. The signs were always there. I just didn't want to see them. I'm still seeing other people now. And yeah, Dating has its ups and downs, but nothing compares to the peace of mind I have now. Being single, being free from that mess, it feels so much better than any time I spent with her. Someone asked me if telling her new guy about Byron made me feel great, but honestly, that wasn't it at all. Warning him didn't give me any real satisfaction. I didn't do it to feel better about myself or to get back at her. I just thought he deserved to know. What really made me feel amazing was realizing I'm no longer in that place. I came home, and for the first time in a long time, I didn't have to worry. I didn't have to wonder if she was out getting drunk with Byron or lie to myself, repeating over and over that I could trust her when deep down I couldn't. That chapter of my life is closed. The weight is gone. And in the end, I just wish someone had warned me when I first got involved with her. Maybe things would have been different. 